guys, welcome back. Today I am filming my summer beauty essentials. I have done a video similar to this for the past couple years and I didn't want to miss out on it this summer too. And it's kind of funny because I literally literally just filmed like a kind of general favorites video. Don't get me wrong, these are all favorites too, but these are just kind of more specifically catered to what I look for in summer. I could have definitely combined them all into one video, but that would have just been super long. The things I look for in the summer are like quick, easy makeup products that I can just kind of like throw on that are gonna look glowy and natural and just be very like effortless, you know, we all want that effortless summer glow. And then the other thing, of course, is sun protection. Sun protection is so, so, so important, you guys. If you want to look beautiful well into your old age, definitely make sure you are wearing that SPF every single day and also reapplying it too. But let's go ahead and jump into the products. Everything will be linked down below as always, but let's get into it. So the first thing I have to talk about is this new It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow. The actual name of this is the Skin Transforming Healthy Flush Blushing Bronzer. It's essentially like a face trio. So the packaging on these is so cute, first of all. I don't know if you can see, but it's got this like holographic flash and then it opens up like this and in all of them you get a blush bronzer and a highlight I do have all three of them but this is the only one I actually use just throwing that out there but I wanted to show all three in case this shade combination maybe isn't your favorite one thing I don't like about these is they aren't like named or numbered so there's no real way to differentiate between them but I'll try and you know write it in the description bar below but this is like the light kind of pinky one. There's also this one that's like a little bit more peach looking and then this one that's like a little bit more mauve but this is the one I have been using. This is all I have on my cheeks today. I use the bronzer blush and the highlight. One thing I've been loving this summer too is not doing like a harsh contour and just kind of like bronzing up a little bit more and just using more glowy products. I definitely do kind of strategically place my bronzer to give my face some nice definition but yeah I didn't actually use any contouring products. I just kind of like lightly bronzed up and I love the highlight in this too. Like it is is so pretty natural but still like so glowy and radiant so really been loving this and I have no doubt I'm going to love the other two once I do actually try them another product that I just have to mention because you guys know it's one of my holy grails and my all-time favorites and that is the Estee Edit pore vanishing stick if you don't know the Estee Edit as a whole is being discontinued which I'm so sad about especially for this particular product don't worry I've like really stocked up on the backups because this is my favorite product when I'm like not wearing any makeup you know I want like ultra no makeup makeup because it just perfects your skin it blurs and kind of diffuses everything and lightly mattifies but it still looks so natural and undetectable on the skin the reason I am mentioning this is because it is still in stock on Sephora at least on Sephora Canada but I'll link it down below it's on sale for 30% off so if you want to try it definitely snatch it up it's such a good product I really really hope Estee Lauder ends up like putting this in their permanent line somehow because it's so good definitely try it before it's gone you guys I've also been loving this concealer this is the pure disappearing ink concealer and I the shade porcelain which I believe is the lightest it's just kind of like a pen style it's got like a little kind of like foamy tip on the end there that's another thing I love in the summer is just a really light undetectable concealer and from the name disappearing ink you can probably already tell that that's what this product is all about it's really natural honestly my favorite thing when I just kind of like want to look slightly put together but like not like I'm wearing makeup is I do the pore vanishing stick I'll do a little bit of concealer like under my eyes and just on these spots on my face where I'm like particularly red and then like a little bit of brow pencil and like brush through my brows with a spoolie and I'm like good to go. Some concealers, especially like really full coverage concealers, really just like sit on top of your skin and look very heavy. So I love products like this that really just like blend in and once again are undetectable. That's kind of like the theme of my summer makeup. Another product I have been loving because it has been so so hot out is the milk cooling water I just have a tiny little size I did a video a while ago trying out milk makeup so I'll link that down below but this is just like a gel stick that you just apply kind of like a primer like you can do it when you're not wearing makeup or you can do it before makeup whatever and instantly just like cools and like feels really icy you can keep it in the fridge too which is what I've been doing to get like an extra cooling effect straight up it's just been really hot out so this is really nice and refreshing and it is also hydrating as well so you do get some skincare benefits this is the one repeat product that will be 
in my like current favorites video that'll be coming up in the near future. So this is going to be a little bit repetitive, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Overnight Bronze and Glow Mask. So this is like a gradual self tanner for your face. So you guys know I'm terrified of putting actual self tan on my face because my skin is so sensitive and I have been loving this. It's just a white lotion so you don't have to worry about it ruining your pillowcases or anything like that. And you can use it as your night cream or you can like mix it in with your other products if you want. I just apply it at night after my like serum and essence and everything like that. And over the course of a few days, it does build up a really nice, natural looking tan. Really great if you are quite pale like me, but you like to self tan because, you know, you get that like nice tan body, but then like a pasty white face if you're not wearing makeup, which doesn't bug me too much, but it's nice to have something to even it out. And I love the fact that this is just like a skincare product, you know, it's not like intimidating, it's not like a self tan, I'm not worried I'm gonna get a rash or like anything crazy is gonna happen, it's just very like simple and foolproof in my mind. I almost forgot I do have another kind of like makeup product to talk about too. I haven't had this for too long, just like fully putting it out there, but so far I'm really loving it. And this is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Really just any kind of face mist is another kind of summer essential for me. Once again, you can pop them in the fridge. I like this because it's got the coconut water in it and it's just like really revitalizing. I've been using it on bare skin even when I'm not wearing makeup and it just looks really nice and feels great on my skin. And I do use it to set my makeup too and it's just glowy and hydrating and I'm loving it so far. One con with this is the packaging is so large. Like I'm going to the cabin in a few days and I want to bring this but it's just like so gigantic. I'll probably still pack it but if I was like going on a plane and stuff like that it's just really really big. I guess I could spray some into like a little travel spray bottle too though. Before we jump into my favorite SPFs of the summer I want to talk about this product. This is the Kopari Coconut Body Glow. You guys have seen me talk about this before and I do have a discount code with Kopari. I believe it's still effective for 20% off. Not an affiliate code so I don't make commission off it but I'll have it down below. I'll put it under the link to this product too so if you guys want to check it out you can use it on their website. But this is just a shimmery golden kind of body oil so it's so nice in the summer. I actually have a travel size bottle at the cabin and I put it on before going to the hot springs and everything and it just makes your skin glow. It's like highlight for your body essentially and it's also hydrating too because it's obviously like coconut oil based and it has a really nice pleasant floral scent. This product just screams summer to me. So this product has been like the star of the show this summer and that's because it's so unique. This is the Origins A Perfect World SPF 20 Eye Cream. It is so hard to find products for the eye area with SPF on them. And if you don't know, the skin around your eyes is very different from the rest of your face. So you really should only be using products in the eye area that are formulated for that area. I just absolutely love Origins for coming out with this because most of us don't even think about our eye area when it comes to sun protection, but our eye area is the part of our face that shows signs of aging first. So definitely, you really wanna protect the eye area and start using eye creams ASAP. I've been using eye creams daily since I was 18, and I feel like it's really going to pay off in the long run. I love the consistency of it too. It's hydrating, but not greasy. It's still lightweight enough that you can wear it under makeup. I've been wearing it under makeup every day, and it's just perfect. And for the face, I've really been liking this Clinique Pep Start Hydro Rush Moisturizer with SPF 20. I love the packaging of this, first of all. This is an oil-free cream, but it's still very hydrating and quite thick. But once again, not greasy at all. It smells like sunscreen, which if you guys don't know, I actually love the smell of sunscreen. It's like one of my favorite smells. Another one that's good on its own or under makeup as well. And finally for the body, I want to talk about the Copper Tone Clearly Sheer SPF 50 SPF Spray. I really like this Clearly Sheer line. I have talked about the lotion multiple times on my channel. I used it up and now I'm trying this spray instead just to kind of mix things up. And I just really enjoy this line. They're very lightweight, very kind of like matte on the skin. Like if you're picky with like textures and like greasiness, like you don't like the feel of sunscreen, the Clearly Sheer line is really great for that. It says on here, lightweight and breathable, won't cause breakouts, broad spectrum, UVA and UVB protection. And it is just like a really, really fine mist. Smells good too, like a very good unisex scent. I mentioned in the past with the lotion that James really likes it too, and he is super picky with like lotions and sunscreen, anything that goes on his skin because he thinks everything is greasy. So I'm a really big fan of this line. I haven't tried the face one yet. They have like a lotion that's in a little pump bottle. So I'll probably try that at some point, but the lotion and the spray are both fantastic. That's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Once again, everything I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description bar down below. If you want to buy anything or want 
want more information. So everything is super easy for you guys to find. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go follow me on social media. I am at Sarah Rihanna on everything. And hit that subscribe button down below if you are new here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.